The FPS carrier system is designed to be as safe to the materials as possible. All movement is user-operated, manually controlled, and gentle. The carrier itself can actually hold the film in place while the carrier is moved or even inverted entirely upside down. If we need to move the film from one place to the other to have it scanned, the carriers ensure safety during that movement. Unlike drum scanners or film scanners, contact is not required for scanning with the FPS. While wet mounting and other forms of direct contact scanning are allowed, they're not required by most of these holders. No automatic handling or automatic feed mechanisms are used. All handling is done by the experienced technician. This allows the technician to adapt to different types of materials and different conditions of materials. The FPS film carriers and FPS stage elevate the film away from the light source, keeping it away from potentially damaging or curling heat. Even with a system built entirely around the safety of the material, it is critical to make sure that we do not have to scan a material again. By ensuring preservation grade image quality, we can be sure that we scan it once, scan it right. In order to ensure preservation grade image quality, we built the system around the best components we can. The lens is a Schneider 120 a spheric lens, capable of resolving high quality across the entire frame. Low vibration and precise alignment are especially important in film scanning. The DTR cam operates without a focal plane shutter, using instead a nearly vibration-free Schneider electronic shutter. The FPS stage, carriers, DTR cam, and DTR cam lens board are all made in the U.S. out of all metal to the tightest possible tolerances. The DTR cam helical is highly precise and fully self-arresting. Once you've established focus in the film, it will not move. Flare can be especially problematic when digitizing film. A thin negative placed next to a dense negative can often transmit more light and bleed into the dense negative. To this end, the FPS includes a gating system, allowing the operator to isolate down to a specific frame. One of the interesting features of the DT Advanced Film Scanning Kit is the option to add reflective lighting to the transmissive lighting. This slide was just captured with purely transmissive light. We see the content of the frame, but not the actual slide. If we want to capture the signature or any other annotations or information on the artifact itself, we can insert it back, turn on the strobes, and add the reflective light to the scene. Here we see transmissive only and transmissive and reflective in one capture. The DT Film Scanning Kit uses a process very similar to the historic process of darkroom film enlargement. A large diffuse light source is used to project light through the transmissive material, through a photographic lens, and onto a photographically sensitive material. It's a much closer analogy than the highly collimated, very narrow light source used in film scanners and drum scanners.